I'm back. Announce S2 TVC motion nominal. Stage two TVC motion is nominal. Pogo, please verification. And stage one locks closed out. Stage two, return manifold secure. Strombeck lower has ended. Strombeck is at 88.5 degrees. Stage two locks closed out. Falcon 9 is on internal power. A1D fuel bleed complete. Vehicles in self line. Ground gas close house has started. Stage one, stage two, crowd here and secured. We have now confirmed that the uh, scrub or halt that was caused by a uh, soft, not a real software error, a uh, wrongly set FTS uh, variable. Announced. AFTS is ready for launch. AFTS is the, ready for uh, launch. The limits Gas of has the complete. ground PC software are uh, not set Falcon for this mission, startup. and uh, this has now been fixed, so we now expect the rocket to actually uh, lift off Stage and not halt again. Stage 2, press into flight. LD verify go for launch. Go for launch. T minus thirty. T minus twenty. Falcon nine is configured for flight. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Repetition. T-plus 50 seconds into flight. You heard the call out on countdown net one. Avionics is nominal. Earlier, we heard propulsion call out a nominal call for the nine Merlin 1D engines. Next major activity coming up in just over 15 Falcon seconds. Maximum dynamic pressure. Falcon 9 currently has gone supersonic. Vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. We have passed max Q, which is where the declining density of the atmosphere. Two plus one minute and thirty seconds into flight. We've the heard the call out. The vehicle has gone through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. pressure. That's where the velocity of the vehicle and the density of the lower altitude of the Earth's atmosphere combine to create the greatest loads on the Falcon 9. The Merlin engines throttled down and then throttled back up to full power in preparation going through this phase. So currently we're at full power, continuing to head towards stage separation, coming up at about two plus, two plus two minutes, 46 seconds. 
Now there will be a sequence of activities that happen very rapidly in just about 35 seconds from now. You'll hear Miko main engine cut off. The nine Merlin first stage engines will shut down. Four seconds later, we get stage separation. Seven seconds after that, the upper stage engine ignites to propel the second stage and Intel sat into the parking orbit. Let's watch and listen as we come up on Miko and stage separation. Now we can see the exhaust of the rocket spread out after the nozzle. This is actually planned. This is because the nozzle is optimized for low altitude atmospheric pressure, which is kind of optimal for a, an engine built for liftoff as it doesn't really make too much loss at yeah, high altitude. Go. But it means that the exhaust is still okay. pressurized when it needs to be successful stage separation and second engine integration. T plus three minutes, five seconds. You hear the applause in the background here in Hawthorne. A successful shutdown, stage separation, and ignition of the upper stage engine. The next major activity coming up in about 20 seconds, 25 seconds, is fairing separation. We'll watch for that as the camera switches to a forward view showing Intelsat 35E inside the payload fairing. Second stage is following normal trajectory. Coming up on T plus four minutes into flight, Bermuda, we saw a successful signal. separation of the payload fairing. Intelsat 35E attached to the top of the second stage, now exposed to the vacuum of outer space. We've also heard the call out that propulsion continues to be normal. Trajectory looks good for the Falcon 9. T plus five minutes into flight. Trajectory continues to look good. Propulsion on the second stage engine continues to look good. Everything going well on the flight of Falcon 9 carrying Intelsat 35E. As a reminder, for recoverable first stage flights, we typically might have seen the boost back burn. We'd be getting for, ready for the entry burn. On this mission, the first stage was not recoverable, did not have landing legs or grid fins, so we're not following the first stage. We're going to stay with the second stage as it powers its way into orbit with shutdown of the upper stage engine planned at about T plus 8 minutes and 40 seconds. That'll be the first, uh, first shutdown of the upper stage engine. There is a second burn planned later on as we pass over Africa. We'll be bringing that to you and we'll talk about that a little bit later more. Currently coming up on T plus 6 minutes. Everything continues to go well for Falcon 9 carrying Intelsat 35E. Just a little bit more than two and a half minutes remaining in this first of two planned burns of the upper stage engine. Stage continuing to follow nominal trajectory. T 
two plus seven minutes into flight. Conditions continue to remain nominal on the flight of Falcon 9. Watching the second stage continuing to head east from Kennedy Space Center going into the first of two planned orbits, in this case a low earth parking orbit. Planned shutdown of the upper stage engine is coming up in about a minute and 14 seconds from now. Coming up about 30 seconds from shutdown, this will be called SECA-1, second, second stage, stage engine cutoff number one. 